magnets and magnetic materials. What type of magnets are shown in the picture? It's a bar magnet. What do the N and S on the magnets show? It shows the North Pole and the South Pole. Complete these sentences about what is shown in the pictures. When two like poles come close to each other, the magnets repel each other. And when two unlike poles come close to each other, the magnets attract each other. Like poles means the poles are the same. It could be north and north, south and south. And unlike poles mean two different poles coming close to each other. North and south or south and north. Which of the following materials is magnetic? It's iron and copper. What are magnetic materials? Magnetic materials are materials that are attracted to a magnet. If you have seen fridge magnets, you will know that those magnets are stuck to the fridge because the fridge is made from a magnetic material. Non-magnetic materials are wood and plastic. Which metals are magnetic? Some metals are precious, for example gold, platinum and silver. But none of these metals are magnetic. Some of the metals that we use in everyday life are iron, steel, aluminium, copper and chromium. Often these things are made from a mixture of metals and these are magnetic. Mixture of metals is called an alloy. For example, steel is an alloy made mainly from iron. It is much stronger than iron. We use steel to make machines, steel pipes and bridges. Chromium is mixed with steel to make an alloy called stainless steel. Stainless steel does not rust. It is used in many objects such as knives, sinks and medical instruments. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. We use brass to make door handles and ornaments. So alloy means it's a mixture of many metals, two or more. If you hold a magnet next to an object and you can feel a pulling force of the magnet, then that means that the object is attracted to the magnet. This means the object is made of a magnetic material. You're going to test some metals and alloys to see if they are magnetic or not. Remember that if the object is made from an alloy, you will be testing more than one metal at the same time because alloy contains more than one metal. Test metals to classify metals and alloys as magnetic or non-magnetic. For that you will need a magnet, a selection of things made from different metals and alloys, such as steel wool, a copper scorer, copper wires, a brass handle or brass candlestick, steel pins, steel screws or stainless steel cutlery, copper and nickel coins, aluminium foil, a cast of iron cooking pot. Now list the things or the objects you have chosen and then identify the metal or alloy that each object is made from. Copy the table and fill in the first two columns. The objects are in the first column a cast iron pot, paper clip, nail, aluminium foil and chair. The cast iron pot is made of metal, then the other one is stainless steel, a nail is made of iron, aluminium foil is made of aluminium and chair is wooden. Now predict if they are magnetic or not. The first four are magnetic while the chair which is made of wood is non-magnetic. 
test metals to classify metals and alloys as magnetic or non-magnetic. For that you will need a magnet, a selection of things made of metals and alloys. You could choose a cast iron pot, paper clip, nail, aluminium foil and chair. Now identify whether they are magnetic or not. For that you will have to check what they are made from, that is the materials. For example, in the given table, a cast iron pot is a metal. Paper clip is stainless steel. Nail is made of iron. Aluminium foil is made of aluminium. Chair is made of wood. Now the first four are magnetic. That means the metals, stainless steel, iron and aluminium, they are magnetic, while wood is non-magnetic. But the result if they are attracted to a magnet is different. The first three gives a magnetic effect, but aluminium foil does not give a magnetic effect, so it's non-magnetic. 